it was a great sunrise at Sri Harikota. During the sunrise, the Indian Space Research Organization, at 1 minute to 6, launched the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle at its designated time. The countdown for the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle went off perfectly. The liftoff happened at the designated time. The Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle on its 63rd mission raced into the sky and the first stage, which is a solid propellant, and the second stage, which is a liquid propellant, all performed excellently. But subsequently, at about 13th minute of the launch, in, the, in a 17-minute launch, the Indian Space Research Organization's Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle had a setback. The third stage of the rocket went into some kind of a catastrophic failure. And subsequently, it seems the rocket tumbled down. As a consequence, the EOS-9 surveillance radar sat imaging satellite also did not go into its orbit. So, in 63 launches, the Indian Space Research Organization of its workhorse rocket polar satellite launch vehicle has had just four failures. Some say three failures and one partial failure. So, essentially, four failures. It was the four third stage of the rocket, which is a solid propellant stage, which had an observation, which is what Dr. V. Narayanan, chairman of ISRO, said in his announcement. I'm told in all its 63 flights, the third stage of the polar satellite launch vehicle has never had an issue. It has had issues on ground testing, but in flight, this stage has performed immaculately. Now, ISRO will set up a failure analysis committee to understand what has gone wrong, and then they will come back. But what is more important is that the third stage of the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle, or PSLV, is not used either in the Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle Mark II or in the Launch Vehicle Mark III. So, if we extrapolate, it is the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle's future missions which may get affected, but the missions planned for Launch Vehicle Mark III and with the Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle Mark II may continue as normal. Or, as part of abundant caution, ISRO may take steps to review and then launch its rockets. But a setback for the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle because of an observation or failure in the third stage of the rocket is certainly something which is worrying. After all, one can say this remains rocket science. If it were easy, many countries would be doing rockets. But ISRO has a track record of learning and then coming back. We saw during Chandrayaan 2, when the lander failed to land on the moon, in Chandrayaan 3, ISRO came back and successfully landed nearer the south pole of the moon. So ISRO has a track record of bouncing back. Failures are the stepping stones to success. And scientists at ISRO have taken that to heart and mastered it. So I'm sure very soon the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle will be back on the launch pad at Sri Harikota and would have a successful mission.